All right, YouTube, today we are going to play some Rug Delver. Um, just wanted to give this deck a try again, just because I've been struggling a little bit with Rex Delver lately. And the decks felt like kind of like this slow, clunky pile. And I wanted to just try another deck that plays on lower resources. So that is what we're going to give a whirl today. And not much to say about the deck. It's pretty straightforward. Like, we only... I guess odd thing that I have is I have a spell snare in the main deck and I played a tar fire. I just want like a little bit more burn. This also pumps Tarmac Life to over Groom Angler, which can be relevant. Um, the sideboard, I played Vapor Snag over Submerge just because sometimes the slow depths decks, they don't have, uh, um, <clears throat> they don't have a forest to turn it on. Sometimes I can just have like this, this weird mana base that is, set up around like Sejuri Step or Herb Org, and so it's just not always reliable. Um, got my Vortex for the combo deck, for the control decks. Same thing with the library, anything that wants to go long. Um, Ancient Grudge and a Braid, Pyroblast, Rough Temple, Sulfur Elemental, just kind of all the same stuff. So let's, let's get into it. I like playing this deck a lot. I don't know if it's that, I don't like, my gut tells me it's not good, but the only reason I'm playing is because, like, I haven't really been that happy with Grixis Delver in the recent weeks. I was high on it about a month ago, but I don't know. It's just, it's, it's felt like this slow, clunky pile. Not as threat dense, not as lean. I almost want to try the eight one drop threats, so. <clears throat> the more I play this deck, the more I think it needs three stifles, not four. But. For now, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to be playing with the stifles. My lands aren't technically right. Like, I should have a better split of fetch lands, but I just copy the list. I think that sometimes I get a little bit of value out of wooded foothills, like I'll stifle somebody, but there are good people that figure it out. I haven't tried the Terramander version of Delver yet, but I plan on giving it a whirl at some point. <laughs> like the blue red one with like light up the stage. All right. What do we got to start here? I think it's pretty good when I play against it. So we're on the play. And we've got a stifle. We can hide with a flooded strand. So we're going we're gonna to keep this. And we're going to hold up a stifle on turn one. Especially because we have two. We want to convert these into cards. <clears throat> Replaces Goyfs. I think I saw that. All right. Doesn't look like we're going to get to trade this into cards. Which is a little sad. Now I wish I had played my Delver. And we're going to give it away here. Kind of with this play. But such is life. <clears throat> like we're obviously telegraphing a Stifle. But with the Wasteland. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Um... I think I'm just going to stifle the trigger. No, I'm going to let the trigger happen and then dismember it because um, because like the chance, like we, we still can't attack through the Stoneforge Mystic if our Delver doesn't flip. And like we'll be able to stifle that at some point. It's the wasteland they gave me. Huh. Well, now I'm in trouble. Well, I can stifle the activation if I need to. No, sad. <clears throat> I kind of want to... I don't want to reveal this wasteland yet, so I think I'm just going to jam this Tarmac Life. Then pass... We also can use the Wooded Foothills to uh, 
um, to scry with our Delver. Now we can actually let the Germ enter play. We can let the Batter Skull get in play and then stifle the Germ token. Days, do you want to reveal this card? Yes. I don't think I want to draw it though. Yeah, we are certainly in some amount of trouble. I don't think I want to draw this. I'm going to go get another Valk. All right, that's a nice draw. So let's start off. We're going to start off by tar firing this, and then I'm going to stifle the activation. And now that pumps up my uh, now now the clock is serious. Again, I'm gonna hold my wasteland because we're gonna get to waste that. That's a true name nemesis. That's not good, but at least our Delver attacks over the top of it. Let's get rid of this. Hopefully we can snipe another land. All right, we're gonna be able to snipe that land. So I don't think they have plow. Hmm. We are getting Vendillion clicked. That's a problem, who are they targeting? Probably targeting me. I'm just gonna let this happen. Like if they wanna take my stifle at this point, they can have it. Yeah. So we have plenty of removal for this, so I'm just gonna hold off. Hopefully we find like a lightning bolt or a fork bolt or another delver. So our opponent's out of lands, which is good. All right. This will likely draw a counterspell or a force if they have it. Yeah. Maybe we're supposed to wait, but I think that's not a good way. It's not a winning line for the home team. <clears throat> we do need to deal with this click quick or we're... In a lot of trouble. So we're going to be able to snipe that with any like, like more than likely. Just going to hold all my cards because we might want to get rid of them with a brainstorm. What's the cantors I heard of? Yeah, man. Where, where are those? Where are those? Those would be nice. Brainstorm. Okay. That's not Brainstorm, but it's probably our next best <clears throat> thing to draw. Because <clears throat> if we get another, if both of these flip, then all of a sudden we're getting in with both. All right, so we're going to stifle this. even though my opponent might be able to deal with this. <clears throat> okay, so they're gonna force this. Force pitch force, okay. So they have batter skull and two unknowns. All right, we're getting supreme verdicted. All right. This kind of sucks. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we got to, I think we, I guess I, I could have blocked one thing there, but 
All right, that's a good draw. The problem is this batter skull is going to be a big problem. We got rid of our dismember, which is the only way to like cleanly answer it. Yeah, I think we're in trouble now. We're going to need like a Tarmogoyf. All right, that's not a Goyf, but that's a good start. <clears throat> and I'm just going to shuffle back these. Play our goose. We're going to double block the germ if they attack with it. <clears throat> We've got three bolts left in the deck and one uh, fourth bolt for kind of like reach. Our opponent not shuffling is a little makes me a little nervous, but all right, whatever. We're just gonna block, get true named. Yeah, and we're we're good because we're losing this race. Okay. Okay, so we're on the play. So we'll probably want Grudge is probably good. Blasts are definitely good. I think Sulfuric Vortex is good. Like we get on the front foot and then we just slam this. And like Fluster Storm is a maybe. I'm gonna cut a couple forces, but not too many of them. <clears throat> I don't really like Dismember, especially if we're bringing in Vortex. Um Probably can shave on one of these. Spell Snare is good. What does Spell Pierce do? Spell Pierce, it's like back to basics and Jace. It's probably just like Fork Bolt, right? Like. I probably should bring this Abraid in also. <clears throat> I'm gonna board us Pierce out. Lean on like Pyroblast in days on the play. <clears throat> I would like to play first. And I'm gonna keep this hand. Well, this hand's super weak to Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, I'm gonna board him. And shit. Maybe I was supposed to keep that hand. But I need to hit like a cantrip or a land. Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep this. Put this on the bottom. Maybe my first hand was fine. I don't know. I'm going to take like about a draw step here probably. Because we were just gonna get destroyed. Like, if we didn't hit a red, if we didn't hit a red land there and didn't find a cantrip, we were in just so much trouble. Yeah. I'm good. I yield. I yield, opponent. Good start to today's stream. Yeah, I just wanted to play this today because I just wasn't. I don't know, I haven't been that excited with Grixis Delver recently. <clears throat> the beats. Right, I would like to lead off. Ugh. I think I've got a mulligan, like... We got to hit, we've got three plus eight fetch lands is 11. We have 17 hits. We count our cantrips. Delver is another hit, which is 21. 
We have one draw to hit 21 cards that matter. That's way less than half. Yeah. All right, this seems much better. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to play, I'm going to lead, um, I'm going to put that on top. I kind of want to like now just play my flooded strand because I don't know if I want that nimble mongoose and, you know, being down a card on the play, I really want to see if I can get someone with a cycle. No, it does not appear that's what's going to happen. All right, so that thing is very good. The goose is going to be exactly what we need this game, so we're going to just draw it. This Delver is not going to be good. But against lands, we need we need the goose. But maybe it was better to just daze this and not rely on Nimble Mongoose. I don't know. But that was probably poor on my part. I was like, I wanted the goose. If I had just played Delver, I'd have been so much better spot. But I was thinking to myself, like, if I snipe a fetch, if I can hit a fetch land down a card in my daze, like, wasteland deck, then I should be in a good spot. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> Gamble. We probably have to force this. We can easily just pitch our Delver. Because that gets them loam, and they're just going to loam us out of the game. All right. Not getting a lot out of these cantrips at, or these stifles at the moment, which has been kind of sad. We've just been in so much better shape if we'd just, like, played our Delver on one than Days this Molten Vortex. But I made a judgment call that was wrong. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. So I have two cards off. How's it going, Teddy? Okay, so they've, they've been their loam. Another board. You got it, sir. And we might be able to, like, get them a little bit if they start messing around with, like, the wastelands and such. Just going to get in here. There's not really much I can do. I mean, I can play a Delver. But playing a Delver into, like, this Molten Vortex just sounds awful. Worst comes to worst, it puts two cards in my graveyard for Threshold, but they get to waste me with Loam. So I think we're just going to, like, hang on here. Not really do a lot. We need to find, like, a Tarmogoyf. All right, we're going to fetch now. I'll get this Valk. <clears throat> so we're going to have we have a loan. They loan back Wasteland, Thicket, Wasteland. So we can fight them off the wastelands a little bit. There's their grow. There's their. So we'll just do this for a while. It's not really a winning line, but it might be able to like it might buy me time. Surprised they didn't play another wasteland, but I guess they want to be able to hit like a like a delver or something. 
All right, that's a nice draw. So let's do this before combat because we might be able to grow our goose. There's another goose, which is kind of nice. I think we can safely shuffle these away. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to go fetch, play another goose, probably wasteland their taiga. No, probably wasteland their port. And we might be able to, like, mess with their, uh, um, mess with their loam for a little while. I mean, we're, we're coming in for six a turn now, so we might be, we might get it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to waste this one because like, yeah, they can tap my lands down and you know, that kind of sucks, but I don't want them to like just loam and then send like four damage at me in a turn and maybe make this a race. I don't know. You know, Wasteland and Grove. I was like, that one gives me life, which might matter if it comes to getting Molten Vortex out. But, like, they're likely, if they're Vortexing me out, then, I don't know, I don't think that's going to happen. Yep, you got it. They have stage. <coughs> They've already made a land drop. If I'd have been like paying a little bit more attention, so they're getting back that. I kind of just want to daze this. I think I'm going to. Like just get it while I can. It's like, it's one of those things where if one's right, the other one's 98% right. All right, we're never casting that boy. I guess it was kind of loose to do that because now they can crop rotate and I don't have a blue card. Like, they just crop rotate for Tabernacle and the game's over. So yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have played that land either. Because, like, if I save this and draw Bolt next turn, I attack and kill them. Man, I suck at this game. So they can set up the combo over two turns, but they're going to lose to that. Yeah, see, this was loose. Because now, now if I draw Lightning Bolt, I'm going to get super punished. But, I mean, if my opponent doesn't have a crop rotation... Yeah, the days wasn't good. I just wasn't thinking. I was like, all right, I want to like, because like they had a thespian stage in their graveyard and they were targeting it. And I was like, okay, well, if I slow them down, maybe they aren't going to be able to set it up beforehand. But now it doesn't really matter because even if they tabernacle me, I guess even if they tabernacle me, we're still two draw steps away from winning because we need to draw like Bolt plus Red Source. I guess we need to... We have six ways to kill our opponents. There's the tabernacle. So they loan that back. And then they knackle me. So. Had I not dazed that and I would have waited. Then. I would have had to counter life from the loan. Now. Because, wait, what well, I should have, I should have, wait, I should have held this land. That's the big, like, I think there's merit to dazing when I did because they have half the combo in their graveyard, but, um, but like now not me, not playing that, me playing that volcanic island was egregious because 
now I've got six draws in my dead that are just dead. My deck that are dead. Exploration, Thespian Stage. So I have to go, now I need Runner Runner. All right, well, there's half of what we need. I think the only, like, egregious mistake that I made was playing this Volcanic Island. I think it was, like, defensible to not play the Volk. Or to, defensible to days when I did. All right, there's your Wasteland. All right. We, we get two looks at it. I guess they can Molten Vortex me out of the game. Well, they still need two sources to do that. Land off the top. God, I'm so good at this game. <clears throat> what time is it in DC? 12.26, yep. Bolt you. I don't know, because, like, I, I see it, like, I see it played in the queues a lot, and, like, so we force here because of a glacial chasm, okay, but, like, I don't know, I've also been, like, not really happy with the Grixis Delver deck over the last, like, month or so, but I liked it about a month and a half ago, I was a big fan, but, dude, everyone's getting something. Okay, so we want... Our grudges. We want these potentially because of like spheres and chalices. Surgical is decent. Library is decent against a deck like this because you can just sit there and like draw eight cards a turn. Dude, everyone's good at something. I don't think Stifle is very good against this deck. Like, you can stifle a Thespian stage trigger. That doesn't sound super great to me. None of my uh, Vapor Snag's good, too. None of my counter spells seem that good on the draw. Unless I pair them with Force of Will. So I want these, definitely. And I want these, maybe. We don't need this, because we we're not really worrying about... Like, we want some reach. So, like, these are coming out. Um, Spell Snare only hits Loam and Chalice. So we can get rid of that. So let's at least go like this. I've had games where Vortex are good, like where you just get ahead and like if they deal with your creatures and you have enough, but I don't think it's like what we should be doing here. Yeah. And now I just cut. I'm going to, I think that Stifle is going, I don't think Stifle is very good on the draw. Like he doesn't have that many triggers. And I, I do like, I do like Sylvan Library against this deck. And, like, Ancient Grudge is good against the Sphere effects. Sometimes you snipe a Mox. <clears throat> it's like, I don't think I can mulligan a hand like this. Like, we can Surgical Loam and Surgical Wasteland and deal with a Chalice, and we have a Ponder. We don't have any threats, but, like, I don't think I can mulligan a hand like this. I mean, it kind of sucks. Right? The Ditch Glacial Chasm. Exploration, okay. Plan of the Land into Maze. Okay. At least we can ponder. Not off of our red source. So we want a goose. 
Delver doesn't really do anything, so we're still just going to ponder. Like, if we find a Wasteland, Delver's decent. Like, this Force and this Brainstorm. The Like, this Brainstorm's not even that good because we're probably going to lock ourselves. I'm just going to shuffle. All right, so there's a Wasteland, which is, like, half the battle. <clears throat> we could just get, like, comboed here and die, but, like, such is life. Well, I think that saying that you should hardly mulligan, oh, wow. Well. Rude. Opponent. Holy shit. Well, I'm just going to play this Delver out. And then I'm just going to let them go for it and then Vapor Snag it. Oh, shit. God. That was almost, that was like, I just went I completely against like my, what I'm doing. I, I'm like, I thought to do one thing. Like I have the Delver with the Wasteland and I just did the complete opposite thing of what I was thinking. I was just like, oh my God. Ugh. <coughs> I guess the Wasteland makes it so we're protected, but it still wasn't, like, the best thing to do. I'm just, like, losing my mind. I've been doing that a lot more lately, where I've just been, like, making these plays that are just egregious. But we have a Delver going. They're going to maze us. I figured out the right time to do this. And I kind of want to do it at the end of my opponent's turn. Like, I just want to waste, waste this. And then I want to surgical. Well, like, I want to surgical. I just figured out when I want a surgical extraction. <clears throat> so like, I think I want to do this now. I still have to deal with this, which is going to be a problem. But I think if I get all of these out of their deck, maybe I'm in good shape. Like, I guess I could have just sat on it. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what is going on with me lately. Because, like, I could have just sat on this. Like, waited for them to do I could have just wasted the Maze of Ith. And then waited for them to do that and use this Vapor Snag. So we get kind of blown out here by a crop rotation. Ugh. All right, let's take these Dark Depths out of my opponent's deck. Though it might be better to... No, they have a stage in play. Let's just take the Dark Depths out. We get to see what our opponent's last card is. Okay, so it's... Just just Punishing Fire, but, like, that's bad as well. So I only have two left. See how they sideboarded. Well, I wanted to, like, dictate when it was done. I don't know. I didn't really want to just, like, handcuff my mana, but I should have I should have wasted the Maze of Ith. Okay. So... They have a Trinisphere. They only have Trinisphere, for, so our Braid's probably not that good for sideboard. Because they don't have Chalices, they just have Sphere. And they have Punishing Fire in hand as their last thing. So let's just Vapor Snag the Merit Lage. And now, for ways to win, they have to Punishing Fire me out of the game, pretty much.
And now we are just, we're like a, we're like a mongoose away from being good. They've got three punishing fires and they have three groves. Do they even have the sphere? Oh, this. Oh, okay. I didn't even. I met. I completely missed this because it was like the Yu-Gi-Oh card. They have spheres, so this is still good. I kind of just want to abrade this. Choke my opponent's colored mana. I think I'm gonna upkeep a braid this. Now they're gonna hit a sphere and then I'm gonna feel stupid. Alright, punishing fire. Down. We need a we need a we need a goose. It might be worth surgicaling that at some point. I'm going to play this. Gives us a scry. It might be at some point, right? You don't think you play Delver? Gamble. What does Gamble get them? Gamble probably gets them Grove or Life from the Loan, right? The problem is if I surgical punishing fire, they go get loam. I don't think loam does a lot for them at this moment, but like it probably will. They still have the tabernacle in their deck. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like Grove Tracker or Loam. So like I guess I make them pay for it and just let this go. Yeah, it is quite a gamble, LOL. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna assume that's what they gambled for. And we don't know the card, the last card in their hand. So we're looking for either a Nimble Mongoose or a Cantrip. Tarmogoyf is good enough. The problem is that they just they just copy this, but that wastes their whole whole turn. Yeah, I think Tarmogoyf is better than a random draw, and I think I'm gonna surgical loam. <clears throat> There's a lot going on with this game with these games, which I do like. And then we're just gonna take this. Hopefully they don't have a trick triangle ticket. They would have had to draw it. Okay, it's a Molten Vortex. Alright. So we're like a wasteland away from being in a really good spot. Problem is, even if they get a wasteland...
Because, like, they're just going to copy the maze with their thespian stage. Or at least that's what they should be doing, I think. All right, there's that. All right. We need a goose or a wasteland. Excuse me. We'll take brainstorm. <clears throat> Do you know that the microwave plays no role at Chipotle? I did know that. I really want to just smack this Mox Diamond. Especially if I can, like, choke their mana if they're going to try to, like, manage my creatures that way. But that seems... I don't know. I'm going to feel so stupid if they have, like, a fucking... A freaking, uh... Um... They hit a sphere. All right. Get rid of that. I kind of want to keep the lightning bolt. I hope I stack that right. All right, that's dead. Yeah, I kind of just want to keep, I hope I stacked it so the lightning bolt's on top. Because this is 4, 11, this is two turns. I think we're in a good spot. We drew two surgicals, which are really important, and the vapor snag. Okay, nice. <clears throat> So what am I looking for? I probably brainstorm now because we can hit like, we can look for like a force of well. We know one card's not good. Um, this Delver is not good and this Abrade's not good. I'll go like this in case we need the Abrade. I don't think we're going to, but I mean, they have to... I don't know what they can hit that wins them. It's like the Glacial Chasm's already in their graveyard. I don't think they have a draw. They have one more maze. If they drew exactly Maze of Eth, we'd be in trouble. They can crop rotation also. If they only have two left. Okay, so now the braid doesn't kill them, does it? Which is 50-50 for maze. I think I know their I don't know their last card. Alright, so now we just bolt them. Fetch. Bolt them. I guess I should have waited because Yeah, because I might want to like deal with this sphere. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not playing very well today. Yeah, but we're okay, right? I mean, I guess I should have waited, but I thought to myself I was I was gonna be fine. But again, now I could have the problem again where like if they draw exactly. Uh, Maze of Ith or Crop Rotation, then I'm in trouble. Dude, I do not feel very good about myself when it comes to this game right now. Like, this is just not... I don't think I'm playing super well. Playing well is for nerds anyways. I want to be a nerd. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> well, we got we beat a bad matchup, which is nice. Yeah, like no, I'm making like super dumb plays. Like yesterday during the challenge, I like I made this I think I made this really good play where I took a line to where I could idle on lock my opponent. And like it was like risk assessment to which like it put me to three on the stack. And it didn't make sense for them to have anything. Um, it put me to five on the stack. And I could idle on lock them. And then I was like, okay, battle rage my angler. Put you to one. Then I went play a death shadow. And then I wasn't even thinking. And I played another death shadow. And they just attacked me with the idle line. I had to block it. We lost the stone blade. It was just, I, I just made like such stupid plays like that. And I just like wanted to hurl. I think I'm going to lead on Volcanic Island. Because I really don't want to get, um, I really don't want to have to crack this fetch land in this hand. Basic mountain. I probably should have rainstormed there. Um, can I just play Tarmogoyf? Snow covered mountain. I probably can't just play Time Wife. I can brainstorm and then play a one drop though. Yeah, like I haven't played Terramander, but I think Terramander's sweet. I don't think we're gonna need lightning bolts. Or the or this stifle against the mountain deck. I don't think we need stifle. And I think I'm just gonna play this Delver. Like, we could get boned here, but, like, if we do, then we do. We can't really, like, I can brainstorm again to look for a Force of Will, but we have a Daze. And at this point, I'm only, like, super worried about Blood Moon. And the fact, the chances, because, like, if they challenge me for one, we can just play Tarma Life. And, like, at least we're doing something. Like, Blood Moon is scary. Eldrazi. We're obviously going to Daze... A chalice here. And if they see me in spirit guide, they see me in spirit guide me. Okay, so they see me in spirit guide me. Alright. So now this Delver's got to flip. It did flip. We have a pretty decent clock. Like, we're hitting them for five a turn now, and we have a little bit of interaction. Yeah, it could be something like that. But, like, dude, my moto rating is, like, the worst it's ever been in a long time. Like, I think I've spent, like, 100 bucks or something like that on tickets this year. And, like, I don't think I bought tickets for all of 2018. So like I guess is there I guess I just make them pay the one. I mean this at least gets another card in my graveyard. We we can't even like play the nimble mongoose. Alright. So now we're drawing to dismember. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm north of that, but I'm not much north of that. Like holy shnikes. Dismember off the top would be hot. Fork bolt. It's probably worth worth casting because then it makes it so I'm only one card away from being able to attack with this. So I'm just gonna cast this. Cause like now if I draw a Delver or like a Nimble Mongoose, then I can attack with my Tarmor Wife next turn. And it like it tips my hand, but. So, like, I don't think there's going to be a lot of, like, gamesmanship in this matchup here. Yeah. Like, I'm not sitting here trying to outplay my opponent that's got a Chalice, the Void, and Eldrazi lands. We're over the Burn Willows. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I killed my tarn wife. Okay. That probably means this is dead. Man, my plan would have worked. I gotta attack this. Am I just losing this race? If I attack Chandra, three, four. I'm just losing the. I'm just straight up losing the race now. I probably have to kill this Chandra and then hope to draw another Goyf. Wow. I, I bet you were. I bet you kept that game close. I bet you like were comp very competitive during that game. So we're drawing to three Tarmogoyfs and one Dismember at the moment. I saw that. All right, we're going to take about one more draw step here. I mean, Tarmogoyf's massive. If we hit Tarmogoyf... All right, I, mean, I guess that's better than nothing. I probably should just kill this Grove. Make it so they can't recur that Punishing Fire. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I was just like, okay. <laughs> It mulligan is six, too, which is the funny part. All right. All right. Um, can I beat this? Tarma Wife is five, six, blocks, gets whacked. I don't think I can beat this. All right. I yield. I yield, opponent. Okay. And they're on the play. <laughs> okay, so we want to braid and grudge. That might be it. Like, I don't hate Sylvan Library against decks like this because you have such a like a finite amount of cards, or like such a finite amount of cards that matter. That if you have library, you have like a better chance at finding them. That being said, I have to see like what I want to take out. And I think like right off the bat, like this fork bolt's not that great. This tar fire is not that great. So like these two definitely come in. And then it's like, what about this? Opponent doesn't play any fetch lands. Maybe I should keep all my reach in and cut my stifles. Yeah, you're right, Hizo. I'm not sure that that was the reason that you won, Mr. Dollar. Okay. Oh, thanks, Creamsicle. The one you catch me live, I'm not playing it, which is kind of funny. Is Vapor Snag okay? Just to like remove a Thought Knot Seer and maybe be able to counter on the way down. Like, is Vapor Snag better than Tarfire or Fork Bolt? I think I can buy that. Yeah. We didn't see any of the little Eldrazi. And I think I've played against this guy before, and he plays like all the big Eldrazi. And, like, he just plays, like, a lockout game, then plays, like, Reality Smashers, Endbringers, and Thought Not Seers. All right, let's try this. I don't know. Uh, yep. I mean, we're going to hold Spell Pierce on turn one, and then on turn two, we're going to ponder. <laughs> I 
All right, so it looks like our opponent didn't play into it. All right. We're going to ponder for a land here. Watch him just blast me right here. He just goes, like, red blast into blood moon or something like that, and then I just hurl. Oh, my God. It's, why is it taking so long? Gross. I feel like I just, like, have to take this days. So they don't have lands. You do have some truth there. I can't shuffle this. What do I have? I have 17 outs, 17 lands. I've got 21 four dazes, 25 four forces. If I shuffle this, half of my deck is pretty good. If I don't shuffle this, I almost surely die. If I don't shuffle this and miss, I think I'm dead. I'm going to take the days. I'm going to take the days, and I think I'm going to be a coward. And just hope that the days gets me there. We have another... So if we don't, if we don't just get destroyed here, we have another ponder. Whoa. All right, so we have Ponder as our top card. So show me a land. There we go. All right, so now we're playing Magic. <coughs> yeah, our hand, our hand's suboptimal. All right, so this thing is still really bad for me, right? I can't waste them, and I can't – my fetch lands don't work. I think I'm going to counter this. I don't really know what this can do to me, so that makes me think that I want to counter it because there's like a reason it's in my opponent's deck more than likely. Dude, a wasteland here would be hot. That's hot. Now I kind of wish I got green mana, but I'm not sure it was right to get green mana. I always sometimes wish in these days decks that you could play like the middle land, you know what I mean? Like in Grixis, you could play bad lands. Or in uh or in like rug, you could play Valk. Well, if I counter it the first time, I probably counter it again. Even though I don't have anything else going on after it. I think I'm going to let this one go. Do I have do I even have to force this? I guess we can deal with the creature. 1 2 3 4 5 I can go force, bolt them, and then get threshold, and then play another goose. I think I'm going to let this happen. I don't think – I think I'm saving this for ways that affect the board. I do – I do – I am going to bolt my opponent, though, at the end of the turn. It, it makes it so that my fetch lands are a little awkward. <laughs> okay, so let's just get in, play my flood. I'm not even going to play my flood strand. Could have dazed to force the ancient tomb, which would have made it so that my opponent was at 12 and my gooses would have been turned on. So they would have been at 9 and then bolts lethal. I mean, I think that line is like defensible and I'm probably right if we have another blue card. But now it's a two-turn clock with Dismember backup for something that can mess with me. Fiery Confluence. No way. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
Ensnaring Bridge. We got that covered. I wonder if we want to do it now. Oh, we can't crack it. Ignore me. Yeah, I'm not going to abrade it yet. I don't think there's any way that we can... Like, I don't think they're going to interact with me on the stack. It would be nice... Man, that thought not to is going to be kind of annoying. <laughs> wow, Brandon. You consider yourself a decent magic player? All right. So what are we looking for? We got, we got six. We have five outs to win us the game here. That's not one of them, but that means we can play Tarmogoyf. Dees. I'm putting them in one. I put them to one. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I put them to one, how much is all is dust? But then if they play a land, the abrade's gone, right? I like brainstorm to protect the abrade. Oh, that's a good play. You're right. I should have done that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I attack in, put them to one, they have to draw a land in order to all his dust me. I don't even know if this deck plays all his dust. It's just like on my radar. So yeah, let's just attack, put them to one, then play Goyf. Goyf's the biggest thing on the board. I think you're all has-beens. What positive additions to Twitch chat from the Tan and Grace? You're old and you don't understand. <laughs> Plays Eldrazi Temple. Plays another Blood Sun. That's probably good for the home team. All right. So I think I'm just going to attack with Tarmogoyf. Like, they just, they can't double chump. They can't deal with it. Then I'll play the Delver, and then we have three lethal creatures next turn. Like, attacking with the Goose just doesn't do anything. Whoever in chat said that I should have brainstormed, hid, dis, hid a braid, and then dismembered them was, like, 100% right. And that was just, like, a super mess up on my part. Yeah, bridge would be gross. What? Is a creature, it can block an additional creature this combat. So five mana and it becomes five mana it becomes a four four that can block two things. This isn't flipping, we know that. The problem is, don't they have to tap this to do it? Yeah, because they're at one. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're just dead. Unless they have, like, a... They could, like... I don't know what they can do, but whatever. We're just going to, like... Figuring out what they can do is for them. All right. 
Got 40 people watching today. I appreciate everyone showing up for some legacy action. They could have Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay, yeah. I think I want to bring in my... I want to cut this Stifle again. I kind of want to bring in this Tarfire in. Just for one more card of reach. And just another way to make it so my Tarmogoyas are larger than the Eldrazi. All the rest of my counter spells are much worse than the draw. I can't deny I'm so it's all I got. Signed by Brad. <laughs> I think this is what I want to do. What does this do? What does the back of this do? do? Each creature with flying? No, we're never going to do that. I do have six mana. I have six lands that produce colored mana in my deck. I'm going to do this. The spell pierces likely aren't good. The spell snares likely aren't good on the draw. But like... Like, uh, they're better than, like, what, Pyroblast? Like, what would I bring Pyroblast in just to fuel the goose? Sulfuric Vortex is, like, maybe a way I can steal a game. Maybe the Sulfur Elementals just, as a creature, is better than a Spell Pierce. I can buy that. Like, what's a 3-2 going to do? I don't know. I, th I think it's better than a Spell Pierce. So I'm going to submit it. I could be wrong there, though. I guess maybe I should have thought... How many blue cards do we have? We have... Yeah, I guess I should have thought about how many blue cards. I just, like, wanted to play cards I wanted to play today. And, like, I love Tarbogoyf. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep this. And I guess, like, I've been playing... I've been playing Grixis Delver for a little while. And I haven't been, like... Super excited about it. We didn't have an inkwell feather on Tannin. <laughs> oh, the goose. The goose is loose. It's not loose. It's a very, uh, it's a very honed in goose at the moment and like I, I've been having problems with Rick Stelver recently because it's just like like it's just too mopey what I've been playing and I feel like oh wow I'm gonna waste the shit out of that thing do I want to waste that or I just want to play Tarmoloif well now I kind of want to go wasteland play Delver yeah so let's just attack well they're gonna do something weird to me like, maybe play that 1-1 one, one card, that Warping Whale. They could play Warping Whale and block my dude. Now they're not going to do that. Now, I don't know. I just haven't been a fan. Like, I liked Grixis Delver about a month and a half ago when I started playing it. And recently, I just have not liked it very much. Like, I think personally, what I just didn't like about it is that, like, it's just, it, it feels kind of mopey at the moment, in my opinion. But again, again, like I'm no, I'm no legacy expert. Like I feel like I have to play, like the Thought Scour Gurmag Angler version to consistently beat combo decks. All right, if you have a Simeon Spirit Guide, then you got me. I'll, I will force of will, this. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have just like been an adult and did that. I kind of think I just, I kind of think I just let this go. Like, it's annoying, but I want to keep my force to be able to deal with um, uh, a braid. Yes, I would like to flip to that. I would like to keep my force of will to be able to deal with, like, I don't know, things that, like, actually kill me. Like, this is annoying, but I don't think it's going to kill me. Is a tragic moment. <laughs> Way to go. Punishing fire. Huh. 
Oh god. If I force this, I could brainstorm looking for a second land and then force something. Because I want to be able to play my Tarmogoyf. But then if I want to be able to play my Tarmogoyf, I probably should have forced Pitch Days on that blend sign. I want to let this go so bad, or I want to brainstorm for a second land. All right, I'm going to do it. This might not be right. Okay, we found a second land and a grudge. So unfortunately, we have to let this go. We can play Tarmogoyf. And I'm going to hide my Tarmogoyf and my Dismember. Because those are the two cards I care about the most. Challenge for one, you got it. I'm going to protect my red mana too. I, I don't think there's anything that they can do to like mess with my red mana, but... There's just no need to put it out there, I guess. <coughs> Auto red, well, depths, company says turbo and just lands. Oh man, are we gonna get to just like, just whack our opponent with this here? Uh, I think I'm just going to hit this and then hold this member. Because like if I hit this, it doesn't quite give me a uh, threshold, but it makes Tarmogoyf larger. And then it's in the graveyard so that I can uh, flash it back on this chalice and dismember a Thought Knots here. <clears throat> And to be honest, I might not even flash it back on this chalice. Like, they might have more things that matter. We also get our first look at a new draw next turn, so we might hit a blue card. What is it? Six mana? Endbringer? That's dead. Yo, my opponent's dead. Dude, I love it when a good plan comes together. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to untap. I don't know what this could be, but like if I find a blue card, it doesn't matter what it is. All right, well, we didn't find a blue card. Oh, my God. Both teams played hard. I love winning with this deck. I want this deck to be good. I want this deck to be good. And I don't really know why it isn't. Like, is it because this card isn't good? Like, do you have to move away from this card? Like, I, I, I can understand playing a third, playing three of these and maybe playing one more of these. But, like, the biggest thing that I hate about the Delver decks is that I think that they just don't have a second one mana card that's any good. And that Tarmogoyf doesn't get larger than Gurmag anymore. That's what I hate about them. And this one at least has another one drop, and you can maybe make Tarmogoyf big. Well, Strifo, aren't you the guy that plays that, uh, um, that like, pretty greedy, like, four-color Grove deck? Yeah. I don't know if Terramander is any good. I don't know. All right, Twitch chat, you ready for this? My dog's napping. And that's how he does it.
He just chills out right there. Oh, looks like nap's over. I'm going to enter this match and then go get a drink. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Sand just does not like really do it for me. Like if I had a NSFW. <laughs> um. I don't really want to keep this. But I feel like I'm supposed to keep hands that are, like... Because, like, if I draw, like, a, sp like a, a Stifle or another Wasteland, it's kind of on plan with my game. But I think I'm going to mulligan. But if somebody told me I was supposed to keep that hand, I would understand it. <clears throat> if I keep this on top and I'm playing against a deck with Wasteland, I feel really smart. I kind of just want to make sure I can play Magic. <clears throat> I mean, I'll draw Z. I still don't know if I wrote that would be an easy matchup. Oh. They have an island with their Delver deck. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to fork bolt this thing. I could get greedy and wait, but I really don't want to do that. Oh, now I can get stifled. <clears throat> It'll be cool. If this is a blue red Delver deck, we'll probably get bodied. Because, like, I, mean, I don't really know how we deal with a 5 5 flyer. Besides, like, force it. Whoa. God, you got this in your deck? And you're playing around Wasteland? What deck plays Delver and Swamps and Islands? I kind of don't even want to play a land. But I'm going to. Because I don't want to get like... I, don't, I want to win a day's fight. <clears throat> this guy's on a budget Delver build. Okay. Oh, he's got to drown catacombs. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Spell pierce that. <clears throat> All right, well, let's wasteland this. I don't really know what's going on. If I had like a goose, that would be kind of sweet here. Though, I guess I'm a little nervous about having. Actually, all my threats kind of suck against the Baleful Strix deck. All right, I'll get to waste that. It's not really doing a lot for me, but it's at least something. Probably should, like, wait for my opponent's upkeep to do this if we're going to be, like, you know, by the book. We're going to actually use our brains. Oh. 
Well, now I'm going to do this. Because like they could go like Snapcast or something. I guess, no, they don't even have anything in their graveyard. I wonder if your sister just here. I don't know. I think Storm is like... <clears throat> I don't know. Storm might be the best deck in the format. Like whenever I, I lose to Storm more than I feel like I should. Well, we're dead. At least I can ditch this land. Or probably just this Daze. This Daze isn't doing anything. Land might let me go, like, do two spells at some point. <clears throat> All right, we're going to keep ditching lands. While our opponent ditches spells, like, we'll take it. His Liliana's probably going to eat us alive, but, like... I always play decks in all formats and just get browned by Liliana so bad. All right, I mean, this lets me, like, three for one myself and trade with this Liliana at least. You know? Which, like, I have to do. You know, I can't just... It's either... You know, get murdered by this Liliana or don't play magic. I guess I can get browned by a spell pierce now, so I probably have to wait for my turn. You bastard. I really dislike it when people do things like that. Because, I don't know, I almost feel like it's right to just stay up a card with your Liliana. Because it's such like a symmetrical effect, you know? Like... Because now you could, like, yes, you lose it to Bolt, but then I've got two cards in hand. I have one card in hand, and you have a Fatal Push and a Delver in play. I don't know. Find two Bolts. Force of Little Goose. <laughs> I guess I could just draw a goose and then get it like let's just start this painful train all over again. I don't know, a lot of people that know Legacy a lot better than I do say Storm is way better than it is. And when like in Baltimore, when I got to see Storm in action, like the, the two times I've seen Storm in action, it's been insane. Question is, do I bolt this Delver or do I bolt this Liliana? I probably just don't do anything and hope that they mess up. Like, hope that they, like, minus it. And then I can bolt the Delver. We also get to see what they draw here. Okay, so they're not revealing, so they're fetching. <clears throat> Is rug even that much still on the goose is a very good clock. I think the fact that I think it's I think it's a little faster, like like Tarmogoyf is a little faster than Young Pyromancer, I think on average, not over a longer game. Um Reanimate Baleful Strict? Gross. I don't know. This could this could prompt a mistake because my opponent might think that they can just, like, now mess with all my lands, and then I can, like, mess with me, and then I can just bolt this, and then have the biggest thing on the ground. Okay. Yeah, my opponent's just staying up cards. <coughs> all right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bolt this Liliana, and then we're going to draw... Fork bolt like an absolute professional. And we're gonna kill this Delver and kill this Liliana and then like pretend we're in it. I think Tarmogoy's faster in the short term, Brandon. I think Pyromancer is probably better in the long term. That's not bad. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to do that on your turn in case you find a ponder? 
Maybe it will inform. Maybe you do want to ult this. I don't know. You're asking the hard hitting questions, Rafi. I'm going to draw Fork Bolt, and they're going to have nothing. And that's how I'm going to win this game. I think if we draw Fork Bolt, I'm just like miles ahead, right? All right, fork bolt. Give me a fork bolt. Well, lightning bolt does it too. So, so here are my options. I think I'm gonna bolt the Baleful Strix, attack with my Tarmogoyf, if they chump with Delver, and then they have to edict my Liliana. Like, I think that's a better spot for me, or edict this. I think that, like, I could just bolt this, but then I have to deal with this. And there's a chance that if this all goes right for me, that I trade my Tarmogoyf and my Lightning Bolt for their board. And I think that's the best way for me to win. Especially considering I have a dead draw next turn. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna hope this works. Or that can happen. All right, I yield. I think it's right to do it like that. Because, like, in a perfect world, this dies, they chump, they edict, and then they just don't draw anything for the rest of the game, we win. Maybe not. Okay, so... This seems good. None of my other cards seem that good. I wonder if I'm supposed to bring this in. Like, they have Delvers, but they also are playing, like, Baleful Strix. And they have Lilianas. And I don't really want to play a long game. I didn't see any Wastelands from them. So, I kind of want to just play, bring this Sulfuric Vortex in and try to just get them. I probably can cut this. Though I'll feel stupid if they have a Gurmag Angler. And we probably can shave one Stifle. Like, they have a superior long game. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they like, Snapcaster Mage in their deck. And if we get this down and we're at all ahead, then I think we'll be in good shape. I'm not sure if I want to bring in the library because I don't know what I want to cut. Like, I kind of want to... If I'm bringing this in, I kind of want to keep all my burn. Um, I kind of want to keep in my Spell Pierces of Day on. I want to keep in Spell Snare because they have... Um, Whatever it is. Uh, Baleful Strix. I want to keep my Stifles in on the play. I think I'm just going to hit Submit. I want to keep a number of Forces because I, I, like, I can't play a long game with them. And like I don't want to just be like taking eight points willy-nilly, right? Against another deck that has Delver in it. And if like this is my game plan... Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I cut two forces. Well, they might play around it a lot, right, City of Ass? City of Ass. I didn't realize. I thought it was Brass, and then I read it. Gross. Yeah, I know we're going to keep it. Like, we're not happy, but... <clears throat> yeah, it is. All right. They didn't show us Wasteland all last game, so don't show me Wasteland now. Dude, my dog's sleeping on the couch, and he's just dreaming. Like, he's all, he's like, he's like shaking in his dream because he's excited about something. All right. Um, I think I'm pretty cool bolting this. 
because we set them back if they daze it, and then we can just fork bolt it. Like, if they daze this, they're not casting Baleful Strix next turn, which I'm pretty excited about. Gas. Um. Guess we just go like this, play the goose. That trap was a nice draw. Dude, such is the death shadow life. Your opponent's dead. Your, your blue-white opponent is dead as all hell. And then they rip... Sad. And then they rip um, the card that beats you. What's the card? They rip Rune Halo. Okay, so I'm just going to waste this and play Tarmogoyf, and then next turn, smoke this. If they force this, I'm going to kind of feel bad. They didn't have days last, last turn, because I, th I think the goose is good enough to daze. Okay, so they force this. All right, we got a twofer. Though I guess I could have gotten more out of it. Maybe that was loose of me to do. Maybe I should have just been like, yeah, that was stupid. Uh, well, with Spell Pierce, I could have just gone like, play Tarn Wife, hold Spell Pierce, Pierce, untap, waste, and then deal. Even if they land another Baleful Strix, I can four pull both of them. Yeah, that was stupid. I just pissed away my Tarn Wife. Sun S O B. I'm gonna play my land so they don't spell pierce me, even though I would like to be able to shuffle that away. <clears throat> Yo, that Philly team open was great. That was my favorite team open. I don't think I want to, like, is it really good for me to hold it? Reanimate Baleful Strix. Well, I guess I can see a case for holding it. Like, is it good, is it good for me just to not do anything? God, I hope I rip a land I can just slam this Vortex. That's not bad. But a removal spell would be great. Um... I'll probably just offer this trade now because we have the Goyf. Though Goose is better than Goyf because it doesn't get pushed. They have four cards. I'm just going to play the Tarn Goyf. We have zero TNNs. I, I guess I didn't update the uh, thingamajigger. I just took a deck that I liked and played it. Like, probably should have one or two. All right, I mean, that's something. Might as well do it on the upkeep just to be good about it. I guess I could just start forcing through, because like, but I'm not that close to threshold. So they don't want to just trade away the board. I guess I see what they draw. And then waste its fetid pools. Alright. Thoughtseize. What a tail. Thoughtseize means they're going to take my vortex. Which kind of sucks. But such is life. But that's not even that bad now. Because... This uh, this Delver is gonna like start putting some pressure on me, and like now that they've cast this Thoughtseize, 
if we find a way to remove this Baleful Strix, it's not only like, let's just start attacking with Tarmogoyf, but it's the seventh card for Threshold. I should update the extension. I forgot to do that. Yeah, phrases. Yeah. Let me just update my deck list here. Configure. Yeah, I have to clear, start over, streaming moto, upload. It should be good on the Cardboard Live extension in a second. But then again, I don't even know if I have that all set up. Whoop. Update stream. Okay. <clears throat> Gaze. I guess I can just attack with this. I could just attack with Nimble Mongoose. Then I can get Edicted. If they Edict me next turn, I can still deal with it. I'm going to wait one more turn. I'd like to give myself one more turn to hit. Because I've got like I've got like six cards that would be solid. Four cards. Or another threat would be good. <clears throat> and we are under like a clock. My opponent didn't shuffle. Yo, everyone, pour one out for Phil. Phil loses his balls starting. Oh, now we're. Now I wish I'd have traded. Phil loses his balls on Friday. Poor little guy. Yep, yeah, F for Phil. Thanks for all the follows. I see them coming in here. All right, that's a good draw. Gross. <sighs> oh, this big old Gurmag angler. Yes, days for days. So we're going to take nine damage before we see a new card. Which isn't great. Yeah, we're, we're in a bit of a tough spot. God, I'm about to get dazed. Oh, shoot. Did I just do this wrong? Because now they can... Oh, my God. Oh, I guess I was... Being, oh, it's before the Storm Trigger happens. Okay. I was like, wait, can they just let the Storm Trigger happen then target my days? I hate True Name Nemesis anyways. Like, it's just like... Oh, it's... It's, it's so clunky and expensive. But, like, it completely slaps, like, half the format. I think it's just supposed to keep days in no matter what in Delver Mirrors now, nowadays. Okay. I think Delver, Delver in 2019 is, I think it's supposed to keep days in play and draw. Because like, yeah, it is. 
All right, so we draw another days. I need to have a come to Jesus meeting with how to cyborg against Delver decks. What do you mean, Tannen? I'm going to play this land. Which is why I play it. What it, it does do some good things. Like the fact that it gives like Delver decks a chance against like death and taxes. Are you talking about the one you sent me, Tana, to, or the one with Thought Scours? The Thought Scour one? All right. It just in all these Delver mirrors, everyone taps out. All right, I mean, there's step one. Is there any reason to upkeep this? I don't think so. What are they gonna do? They're gonna, I guess there's just no reason to do it now. Here's what we're gonna do. Their Delver is not gonna flip. We're gonna blast this Delver and then we're gonna draw a Fork Bolt like a professional. Oh shit, we already used our Fork Bolt? We can't win. Yeah, days is just always good. I can cut like days against elves. If I, if I have to think about decks that like I might do that against, it's probably elves. Man, if this would have been a true nemesis, we'd have won this game. Reanimate, that's great. They can reanimate a goif. And maybe if I want to play this deck, I just need more fork bowls because, like, we could, like, we can beat this. Okay? We can't beat this. They should have attacked with this, I think. Well, no, because yeah, they should have they should have attacked with this thing if they were planning to do this. They know we have days, so it's only one card that really gets them. Alright. I yield. <clears throat> Alright. Going for that three two. Going for that three two, then we're gonna play some standard, I think. I'm going to do my little plug here because I appreciate everybody showing up here. So my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. You should check out Card Hoarder for all your Magic Online needs. They're starting a loan program. And off the top of my head, I know that the loan program is essentially you pay 3% of the tickets that you loan out. Um, so you should look into that. Uh, MTG Corner is a new site that my friend runs that I write for. I usually write for them about once a week, sometimes twice a week, if I get something short that I want to think of. Um, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you like miss part of the stream, go over to YouTube. You guys should all go over to YouTube and subscribe there. That's like the best way to support me. I'm, I have less than, I think I have just about a hundred more subscribers until I can apply for monetization. So that's free and awesome. Um, I learned to play Magic at a store in upstate New York called Gamer Craze. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They've got four colleges around them, so they have, like, really competitive pricing. And, yeah, if you want to interact with me, my Twitter is linked below. That's where I talk about Magic. I get picked on by Brandon, and I can be about my dog. Let's get back here for the last match of the league. I would like to play first. I'm going to play this uh, Rug Drake deck that I played earlier. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. <clears throat> we're really hoping that we're playing, like, a non-combo deck. But if we're playing a combo deck, we've got we got Brainstorm.
well, that that's that's either good or really bad. So this could just be a Delver deck that's playing like an off fetch land. I think I'm just going to hold and brainstorm. I don't exactly know what I'm looking for. Like I know I want a threat, but like I don't know how good these are. I don't know how good this is. Yes, brainstorm will fix all our problems. So now I think we're playing against a Delver deck. Because of like the, the Jess guy, like I bet it's just like a two two split. <clears throat> I'm gonna brainstorm at the end of the turn. Because if they fight over it, we then can wasteland them to keep them off True Name Nemesis. Okay. I guess it, I, this opens us up to be encountered. Okay, so they have an island. Okay. You bet it's Storm. All right, so now I'm probably playing against Miracles. <clears throat> Isn't it okay to end a turn brainstorm if I have like the fetch lands to do that, or is, is that still not good? Just gonna pass. I think we're playing against Sneak and Show or Miracles. You EOT, you do that? You're about that life? Well, I don't miss a card if I have two of them, right? All right. I would not like to shuffle. My opponent missed a land drop. <clears throat> All right, uh, I think we can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. And then, what am I stifling? I guess I'm stifling like a fetch land. Because like, if it is sneak and show, I can stifle a fetch land. But I can also daze, but then I can fight over it twice. I'm going to hold this and just crack in my upkeep. All right, we're gonna fetch in my upkeep. What are they doing? So this should let us know something. Okay, so they are a sneaking show. Okay. Okay, so we are playing against sneaking show. That's a good draw. Okay. I'm kind of down. I could just draw this Delver and put the Force on top, but I don't think that my, I don't think just Daze and Stifle is going to like win me the game here. So I think I'm just going to go put the Delver third, draw Force, put ponder second, and then I can ponder into the Delver and set it up next turn. Like, I, I would set it up differently. I would go, like, I could easily do something different there. Like, if, if I like if I, if I had another way to use my mana next turn, I could put the Delver third, I could put the Delver second, and then flip to ponder, but... Yeah, it's not 2000. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I watched your match against Baltimore. I thought that was a very I thought that was a very entertaining match of magic. 
I could have sent off a bolt there, and it might have been correct to do that. But, like, I kind of want to go, like, bolt Tarfire. Um, all right, I'm not going to play a Goose if I draw it. All right, so there's a Goyf. Okay, so I think we just go like this. <clears throat> so now we're going to six them. So we've got, what, five points of burn? We have seven points of burn, so we're two off. I think that Todd, like... <sighs> well, because I'm far luckier. I appreciate the compliment, Tannen. Okay, so we want Flusterstorm. Surgical and Pyroblasts, cards that are not great. We can get rid of two of these. Um, Spell Snare is likely not that good. They have Impulse sometimes, but besides that, I don't really think it has targets. Probably can get rid of one Stifle, even though Stifle is pretty solid in this matchup. But the whole Mana Denial plan in general is not great. But maybe I just want to keep it in and then sideboard out some of like my middling burn spells like this and this. Because like I've won games before where I've stifled a Gristlebrand trigger or like an Annihilator trigger. <clears throat> There's such an ex I, I think that like I think Days I really think that Days is like one of the best cards in the Delver decks. And like even on the draw, it's good. A red green. I don't know. Like, what? What am I? What am I keeping? What am I? If I'm cutting stifle, is like a two mana threat on the draw better than stifle? Is spell snare better than stifle when they only have like impulse, fork bolt, fork bolt, or tar fire? Like, you're fucking. <laughs> this is like my favorite card in the deck. I'm not allowed to play you anymore. <laughs> you're going to call card harder. And you're going to be like, if Dylan tries to take out um, Dazes, don't let him do it. Oh, Johnny. Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate you doing that. His hand sucks. Right? Like, what am I going to do? Am I going to, like, force something on turn three and then surgical it? My gut says it's an organ. All right. This hand's not much better, but I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to keep this one because we're on five. <coughs> oh, nice. This is right here where, like, I do like being, like, the lower to the ground Delver deck. But, like, when my opponent plays this, I just want to hurl. I'm going to fetch a... Even though we drew a trap, I'm still just going to fetch. Yeah. Yeah, but what else? Like, are you keeping, like, Tarmogoy Finn on the draw? Oh, shit. I didn't cut this. Rip. I'll go with Tarma Wife is better than Dismember. Yo, I hope my opponent doesn't, like, peek me so that they can see this. Just the people watching. I think I can do better than that first hand. Because, like, like, the goose is, like, not big for long. Dude, I kind of just want to spell pierce this. But, like, whatever. He didn't use the Beseju, so I'm just going to do it. We're gonna we're gonna get going while the getting's good. Guys, don't pick on me for this dismember here. <laughs> they bring in creatures sometimes. My god. You think if they play that that whatever it is, that three drop, 
then I dismember it. They're probably the guy's probably just gonna rage at me. All right. You got it. Tropical Island. Okay. Both teams played hard. It got him good, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna take this out. Okay. And we'll bring in another Tarn away from the play. <coughs> All right. <laughs> God, Johnny, you are a unit. How was your stream, Johnny? I appreciate you sending over the viewers. I want to try to dismember Bristlebrand and Brock with a Delver. <laughs> it didn't work out. All right. Maybe I want like another. I think I feel like I want one more cantrip in this deck. Like I, I do like the fact that Grixis plays two preordains. So maybe like I should play another preordain and kind of stifle. Because like four stifles feels like a lot. I feel like that's a they're they're getting they're getting their troll on. Stay calm, Brandon. Uh, you know these are going upstairs. Though they might be better as brainstorm fodder. Look how powerful our deck is. <clears throat> I'm gonna counter anything. I think like, oh dude. Do I want to enable threshold more, or do I want to keep this to brainstorm? We're gonna wait a second. <clears throat> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I hope to God my opponent plays a fetch land. Like, I think that also I just need to play more of this Rug Delver deck because whenever I've had a tough day, I just want to stifle people. Like, if I could stifle people in, like, a professional setting and not get fired, I would be all about that. <coughs> all right, um, I'm going to bolt them. We're going to start getting going here. I wish I could stifle a Lotus Petal. Start by attacking, because we're not going to any, get anywhere near threshold. I think I ponder, even though I leave, I like lose the ability to stifle slash spell pierce, I can't do both unless I hit a land. I don't really want to hit a land here. Hmm. Okay, so let's do some thinking. So... If I draw this Flooded Strand and I put Lightning Bolt second, this is my fourth card, this is my fifth card, this is my sixth card, this is the seventh card, and then all of a sudden this is live, <clears throat> and if they crack a fetch, they're on a two-turn clock. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to let this go, as sad as it makes me feel. I'm going to post a screenshot of the time <clears throat> Days is being dead. <clears throat> when I was 10, I was 21. All right, dude.
Both you. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Bolt you. They crack this fetch, two turn clock. See, I knew they were going to do this. I don't even care if we lose this game now, because I knew it. <clears throat> you got it. I will stifle the shit out of that land. This feels so good. Like me just sitting here just wanting this feels so good. Oh shit! No! I was like, okay, because I thought they were going to their upkeep. Oh no! Ugh. Now I'm gonna lose. Now I'm gonna lose. No. Should I daze this? Because if they put in, oh no, because if they put in sneak, the sneak thing, then we're good. Oh no. No. I will not put anything in. Okay. Yeah, we can beat this if our opponent is dumb. Oh my god. Yes. It was just such justice. Okay, bolt you. No! 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 Oh, man. I will not attack. <coughs> well, I mean, at least we they would have... Had we stifled that, we would have... Uh, if we would have stifled them, then our bolt would have resolved, I think. I think our bowl would have resolved. <coughs> That's life. That is life. I didn't think they'd do it on the upkeep, and I was, like, hitting the OK button to, like, move past the upkeep. <sighs> That's, like, up there with the time that I pithing needled a bad land. That's got to be up there. All right, I yield. I yield. All right. Even though that did not end 